Hello again. So I don't know if my last little bit of the playthrough recorded or if this is from the beginning. So hello and welcome back if this is halfway through the recording. And hello, my name is Disney Miss Lizzie if this is just from the beginning of it. So Remy has found a book. We're now going into Chez Remy to find it. And then hopefully this will bring Tiana or at least bring the first steps to Tiana. Ah, oh, so that was fun. So after waiting an hour for it to download, Hello. it decided to crash. Great. Bonjour. Right, so we're on a taste for literature, if you don't know. And we're on a taste for literature. If this is a corruptive recording. Anyway. Hey, Remy, want me to want to help me solve a culinary mystery? Mm. A culinary mystery? Absolutely. So I found this cookbook in the Glader Trust. Uh. Hmm. Looks like the book got wet. Only the first recipe is kind of legible. And even then, it's hard to make out. I believe in you. <laughs> Thanks. I can make out that it needs shrimp. Uh. Uh -huh. Okay, the list of other ingredients is too soggy to read, but let me see if I can make out some of the instructions. <laughs> oh, I think I've seen cooking techniques like this before. Mm. No question about it. This is a recipe for some kind of ca um, kajum food. Ca no, ah, uh, kajum? Kajum? Kujon, that's it, sorry, kujum food. Whoa, something's coming out of the cookbook. Au revoir. Right, this is where it crashed last time. Is it gonna crash? Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Okay, this is where it crashed last time. This is annoying. Stress eating. Uh. Okay, so we won't do Tiana's quest straight away. We'll go and do Jafar's or the part three of Eternity Isle. Also need to see if I have everything set. I should have everything being set for that quest, but ah, oh, that's annoying. That's annoying. If anyone else has had any crashes, please let me know because I'd be really interested if that's happened to anyone else where it just stops at the memory. Ah, I want to unlock Tiana and Prince Naveen. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. I do like this. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my. Right, where's Merlin? Merlin, oh boy. Come on, where are you? See, Oswald, there's Merlin. There he is. This place really oh, I've added a little path here as well, and a black and white balloon arch. Ain't that pretty, but we're not interested in that. We're interested in finding Merlin. There he is. Ha ha. Right. Hello. Hello. Lizzie, we must stop Jafar's meddling with the spark of imagination. Yes, we must. The colour is slowly draining out of everything. And those mysterious rifts throughout the aisle are a very ill omen. Really? I hadn't noticed. So how do we stop him? Defeat Jafar, fix the aisle, adding it to my very long to-do list. Um... So how do we stop him? That is indeed the question, isn't it? Is it? We should start by investigating the strangest phenomena happening on the aisle. That is, have you noticed anything odd happening with Mickey? Something's happening with Mickey? Oh no, if Mickey's in trouble, now this is personal. He seems to be flickering in black and white. Indeed. It's almost as if Mickey is caught between the present and the past. We must speak to Mickey and investigate this phenomenon immediately. Yes, 
talk to Mickey. Where is Mickey? I can't see him. Aha, there's our boy. I saw you running down here. Mickey, Mickey. Oh, oh, that's not creepy at all. Uh-huh. Hi, your pal. I'm afraid I'm not feeling too good. Mickey, you're turning black and white. Now all you're missing is a steamboat. That's actually up on the thing. I'm going to do everything I can to help you. Oh, thanks, Lizzie. I sure appreciate it. Here, there. There has to be some way to fix this. How did it all start? You know, it was the strangest thing. I just woke up like this. But that's not all. When I flicker, it's just not... It's not just me flickering. It's the whole island. Uh, it's like I'm seeing some other world. And and I think I'm starting to get sucked into it. Merlin thinks that you're caught between the past and the present. Oh. Huh? I guess that makes sense. But that must mean the other world you're seeing, could it be the past or somewhere between the now and the then? Oh, good question. Do you think you can get this all figured out before I wind up stuck in that black and white world forever? We will get this sorted, Mickey. Return to Merlin. Ah, oh, gosh. Where's Merlin? Will people please stay put? I should have really asked to hang out with Merlin, shouldn't I? Then he could have just stayed with me. It's just as I feared. The past isn't just leaking into the aisle. The aisle is also leaking into the past. If we don't stop this soon, I fear more villages will be affected. I'm not letting that happen. Hmm. Kind of like to see what you look like in black and white with rubbery noodle arms. No, it'll just turn into Bendy and the Ink Machine. Neither shall I. We must thwart Jafar's me um, machinations before this goes any further. <gasps> Luckily, I believe I found a secret path into the palace. <gasps> We're going to go into the palace. Cool. Follow me. I yes, it diddly doodly. Let's go. Oh, poor, oh, poor Mickey. Hang in there, Mickey. We're, we're coming to save you. Oh, I should have drunk from my Oswald mug. It would have been a bit more appropriate to go back into the past. But no, we have little Marie today. Because she's so cute. It's a long way to go. I shall you that. What's the secret path up here? Ooh. Ooh. Follow Merlin to the secret entrance. Ah, talk. Well, hello. Drat, when did it disappear? The secret entrance to the palace is an old cellar door tucked right or tucked away right here in the lagoon. But now this, this rift in time has blocked the way. Maybe there's another way in? How do we get rid of this thing? Ah, not again. It will be tricky, but we must heal this rift in time to proceed. Got it. So how do we do that? I deduce that all rifts across the aisle are connected to one another and to the spark's neck. Therefore, if we close some of the other rifts, we might be able to weaken this one enough to, uh, well, see it. How do we close the rifts? Can I use my hourglass? Unfortunately not. For this, we need a different sort of magic. Something that will allow us to tap into the power of the spark itself and turn it back on Jafar. I've done some research and it seems that the key to the spark's power is choosing your imagination. No problem, I'm great at that. I think I can manage that. Uh-oh, I'm not very imaginative. Yes, but I fear even for one as imaginative as you, some help might be needed. I suggest you seek help from Oswald. Why Oswald? Well, I've spent some time studying the fellow. 
He is quite fascinating. He is. He's very fascinating. You see, before any of us were here in Dreamlight Valley, this place belonged to others. Are we going to say it's Universal Films? I think it's Universal he was with. In the same way that the valley now shapes itself around your hopes, your dreams, and your memories, once upon a time it belonged to someone else. And Oswald was very special to them. I'm sure there are stories you cherish that were passed down from a trusted loved one. Well, Oswald is a bit like those stories, passed down. So how does that help us now? Well, Oswald surely might have wisdom from seeing the ways that Dreamlight Valley and the Isles have changed. Okay. And if not, then perhaps he can give you a lesson in utilising your ingenuity. Regardless, things are... Well, they do just seem to have a way of working out when Oswald's around, don't they? Got it. I'll go and get help from Oswald. Yes, and hurry, Lizzie. Seek help from Oswald so you can close the rifts and get us into the pats. Yes, let's go. Right, talk to Oswald. Where's he? Where he be? He be there. Let's go. Oh, there's a chest. Sorry, hang on, Oswald. I know this is really important, but I need to see what's in the chest. Coins, thank you. Hello there. Hey, uh... Oswald, I've got a funny question for you. Don't you worry, chum. I'm used to funny business. Spring it on me and I'll tell you what's what. You've probably noticed things around the aisle are turning black and white. Including my friend Mickey. Merlin told me we need to use our imaginations to close the time rifts. Oh, you have you come to the right rabbit. See, I've been doing some experiments of my own. You know, tossing a few things into those time rifty thingy in my arms to see what happens. Oswald, that sounds dangerous. Did you discover anything? You bet it was, and fun too. Mostly nothing happening when I threw the stuffs into the rifts. But then I drew something funny on a napkin and tossed that in. After that, all I had to do was think about the rift closing and BAM! It zipped it right up. That's it. So what we have to do is make something using our imaginations and toss it into the rifts. Sure seems like it, kid. Except when I tried it again, I got bubkus. I think each rift's got to be closed by a different Joe's imagination. Okay, got any tips for using my imagination? Absolutely, positive -lutely. Maximizing your imagination is all about using what you got, but in a funny kind of waysies. You know, like looking at stuff and asking... Oh, sorry, you know, like looking at stuff and asking what else it could be instead. Is it a hat? Is a hat only a hat? Or is it also a giant soup bowl that leaks real slowly? Say, maybe you could try asking Rapunzel, Gaston, even that Mickey fella you mentioned. Sounds like Mickey's in heaps of trouble, so I bet he'd love to help. That Rapunzel sure has a great imagination. She better be there when I turn around. <laughs> Gaston? Well, since he imagines he's such a swell guy, he could probably imagine just about anything. And as for that clanking contraption, Eve, gee, I sure would like to find out what she could imagine if she put her gears into it. Great idea. Guess I'll just go and talk to Mickey, Eve, Gaston and Rapunzel. Yes. And there she is. Oh, hello, Lizzie. Mysterious Mickey. Lizzie, I'm so glad you're here. There's something I need to show you. I was exploring the aisle when this huge, jagged rift opened right up in front of me. That's funny. I was just about to come and ask you about that. Those are time rifts and I need your help to close them. <gasps> you need <laughs> my help? Well, I'd love to help in any way I can. But, wait... How exactly can I help with you with this specific problem? Use your imagination. Oh, okay, I'm using it. Hmm, maybe I could hit the rift with my frying pan <laughs> or try and sew it up with my hair. Whoops, no, 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 not what I meant. I mean, your imagination is the key to closing the rifts. Really? But how? I think this will go faster if I show you. Why don't you lead me to that rift you saw opening? Of course! 
course. Follow me. Okay, let's go. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Follow Rapunzel to the rift and um, time near the Sundial Island. Come on. I'm on my way, Rapunzel. I just had to drink. I love her hair. I love how it flows. It flows in the breeze. It's so pretty. Oh, I've got bamboo there. Nice. Me old bamboo, me old bamboo. Do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do bamboo. One, two, three, four. Probably done that before on here. Oh well, never mind. It's all good. For me. Oh, we're right back to the beginning. So with Gaston, it's probably where his tavern is. I'm assuming that that rift is open. Yeah, it is. It's that rift that's open up, opened up. Sorry, there we go. Talk to Rapunzel. Mm. Do you see it? It's so mm. odd. Black and white can be wonderful for sketches, but when the whole aisle starts turning black and white, it's like having a big white canvas and only one color of paint to use on it. I think the rifts are kind of cool. You really do think like a painter, don't you? Don't worry, we'll fix it together. I like that one. I know we will, but how? With your imagination, of course. I'm not sure I understand. You and I need to make something together. Something using our creativity and then toss it into the rift. The sparks magic runs on imagination. So, if we can just do that, we can turn the power of the spark back around and close the rift. <gasps> okay, got it! Only, now that you've asked me to think of something creative, all of a sudden I can't think of anything. Just grit your teeth and focus really hard. Try thinking nonsense until something creative comes out. What if I try to scare you? Oh, wait, that's for the hiccups. Nonsense? Hmm... Nonsense like blip dangly glibbity flubbity flu flop flip <laughs> flop dingy razzmatazz. Oh, that worked. I have an idea. When mother had me locked in my tower, once a year I would look out and see these lights in the distance. Yay, I'd love to build some floating lanterns with you. That sounds great. Why don't you start drawing up some designs whilst I find all the stuff we'll need? That sounds perfect. I think we'll need some tropical wood, bamboo, and rope. Okay, Goodbye. let's go. Let's go get this stuff. All right, rope. We have plenty. Oh my gosh, tropical bamboo. All right, tropical wood and bamboo. Whew. Back in a sec. Try and get this done as quickly as possible because it's just. I think this is definitely going to be a grinding, grinding quests. I think I've just... Oh, oh, wait, where was Eve? Where was Eve? There's Eve. Aha, hang on, let's talk to her as well. Frantic digital beeps. Directive. Wally. You okay, Eve? I kind of need your help with something, but if something's wrong, why don't we fix that first? Directive. You're pointing towards the ancient ruins at the docks. Do you want me to meet you there, Eve? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Affirmative digital beeps. Well, okay, Eve. I'll meet you there. Okay. Use your imagination, Eve. Okay. Alright. Um, hang on. Ah, what do I do? Go inside the ancient ruins in the docks area. We will. Just not yet. Just let me grab some more bits and then we will. Okay, that may have not been the best idea, but hey. We're going to get this done. We could just save the aisle. Me old bamboo, me old bamboo, me old bamboo. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's Gaston. Okay, let's go and speak to Gaston Hello. then. Hello, Remy. Why are you here and not in your restaurant? <laughs> Who's going to polish my boots in this town? Mysterious Mickey. Lizzie, I'm not convinced the way you're running this island is the best. I've made a list of all the ways you can improve things here. Uh, let's hear it. First, I don't like how things keep turning black and white. I suggest you stop all of that. Next, Eternity Isle needs more statues of me. 
one in Ancient's Landing, one in the Glittering Dunes, and one in the Wild Tangled. Anything else? Yes, thirdly, the names of things around the Isle need to change. I was thinking of Gaston's Landing, the Gastonian Dunes, and the Tangle, Gaston. Fourthly, Eternity Isle, please. Everyone should be calling the place Gaston, or maybe Gaston's Eternity Isle. Is that your whole list? Hardly. <laughs> Let me see. Four psychics for me, daily performances to celebrate my fate, my fate, some sort of contraption to funnel eggs directly into my mouth even faster. Oh, Belle's love and admiration given only to me. That would improve things around here quite a bit, if you can imagine it. Why don't we circle to all that once we fix the more pressing issues around the aisle together? Hmm, all right, fine, what do you need? Those black and white rifts around Eternity Isle. I need your help to fix them. How convenient. A very pesky one just opened up in my camp. Follow me, I'll show you. Could I talk to you? Uh, leaving? Hey. How odd. Right, let's go and follow Gaston. Come on, Gaston, let's go follow your buns of steel. Oh, there's a little bar there now as well I've popped in. Try to make it look a little bit prettier. Talk. Do you see this? This, th this thing? It's blocking my entire camp. It's pretty annoying, but I just know how we can fix it. We need to use our imaginations together and make something to throw inside of it. Ha! Imagination? <laughs> ha! Who needs imagination when you have strength, courage, and cunning? Excuse me. Gaston, Gaston, are you scared to use your imagination? Scared? Me? Of course not. I, I, well, all right, I'm, I'm not scared, but it is something I've never really done before. That sort of thing is more from Belle or her father, Maurice. You know, odd people. Well, if it's something you've never done before, maybe you need an imagination coach. Phil. But who would be capable of coaching me? I think I have just the rabbit we need. I'll go and ask it's Oswald. It's about time. Paid attention to me. It's about dang time. In a minute, gonna need a... <laughs> right, where's, where's the rabbit? Oh my gosh, there we go. Can I assist you, old pal, Oswald? Oswald, I need your help. There's a villager who's having trouble tapping into his imagination. No problem, I'll tell me who it is and I'll have him imagining floating ponies eating ice cream in no time. It's Gaston. No way, nah, -uh. I ain't helping that palooka, he's hopeless. I was talking to him just the other day and he started yammering on, on about hunting me and then turning me into a stool. He did not. You bet your magic fish pole he did. Let me give you a piece of advice, kid. That Gaston's got an even bigger eagle than his biceps. You want to inspire him to be creative? Take him someplace and show him something to remind him of his own heroism. That ought to do it. Not a bad idea. Thanks, Oswald. I'll go and talk. I'll go back and talk to Gaston. Oh, and don't worry about that hunting thing. I'll make sure that never happens. Yeah, he's gonna get kicked out of my valley if he does that. Ugh. Stupid Gaston. I don't know. Don't even know why he's here. There's Gaston. Who's going to polish my boots in this town? Uh, use your imagination, Gaston. Well, what did that irritating rabbit say? He said you threatened to turn him into a stew. Threatened? Ha! <laughs> I was merely speculating on how easy he would be to hunt and whether it would be worth it. In the end, I decided he'd be much too stringy to make a satisfying stew. Let's just be clear. No hunting anyone. Got it? 
Yes. Fine. Which won't stop me from target practice. I have to stay sharp. Target practicing is okay, but forget, but forget about that for now. What's important is Oswald suggested we go on a little island tour. An island tour? That's right, Gaston. We need to stir up your emotions, get you thinking on some of your past heroic deeds. Hmm. Well, there is the place where I was first shipwrecked here on Eternity Isle. That was an exceedingly heroic moment. That's perfect. Lead the way. Goodbye. For a split second, I thought it crashed then. No, no, not again. No. It's not happening for a fourth time today. No. Here he is. Talk to Gaston. This is it. When I was shipwrecked on the isle, the wave carried us all the way here into the desert. Okay, Gaston. Think about that moment. Remember the salty sea air, the waves crashing against the hull. How did you feel? How did I feel? Hmm. Hungry, I suppose. This is hopeless. Maybe there's somewhere else I can bring you. Hmm. Perhaps if I could see the whole area and imagine how it looked from above. That might spark something. Great idea. Let's try to find somewhere like that. Move along. I'm done. Um, follow Gaston to higher ground. Ooh, lots of forgetting. Wait, move, move, come on, move. Ah, uh, yes, this is a much better vantage point. Why, from up here, the ship must have looked as tiny as one of those ships in a bottle. Wait a moment, a ship in a bottle. That would be something imaginative. Where I come from, great sea captains would have woodworkers make a ship in a bottle to remember their most illustrious uh, expeditions. I know I said that name incorrectly, but it's fine. We're playing as Gaston, it's fine. We must make something like that. Wow, Gaston, I'm impressed. That's some good imagining. You start figuring out what the boat should look like. I'll go gather some materials, not more materials. Um, Softwood and glass. I have plenty of softwood and I can go and make plenty of glass. So that's fine. That's not really pressing at the moment. I do have to go see Eve's quest. Let's get this stuff sorted for Rapunzel. Oh, are you following me, Gaston? Okay. Right, I think... Yeah, he's following me. Okay. Right. We have plenty of tropical wood. It's just the bamboo. But we don't have, which is really annoying, because otherwise we could get that part of the quest done. I had a feeling that would happen though. Okay, so so whilst we're waiting for more bamboo to um, download or to respawn, let's go and let's go and sort this out for Gaston because I know I definitely have plenty of softwood. I'm pretty sure I have plenty of sand, so I can make the glass for that. And then that's all done. So let's do a cool transition of us in the house. Don't know whether that works, but here's a transition. I don't. Dang, I thought I had plenty of sand. I don't. I should have plenty of softwood, though. Yeah, that's fine. We, we need to go and get some sand. 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 Oh, let's all... S oh, hey, Mickey. How about we do something together? I keep going to that funny black and white place for longer and longer. It's starting to scare me. Don't worry, Mickey. I think I know how to fix all this. But I am going to need your help. Whatever you need, Lizzie, just tell me. We need to use our imaginations to close up some of the rifts around the aisle. It's easier to do it like this. Well, I will. Really? 
Well, I just saw a rift open up. No, he sounds like a granny, you know. That's perfect. Why don't you show me where it is? You got it. Oh, me. Okay, I just have to shake my shoulders a lot. And that would be the best way to get Mickey's voice to sound a little bit scared. Hello? Oh, I know a place where we might be able to get some uh, uh, glass. Um, uh, Christoph's store. Maybe. Maybe. Or would it be easier just to grab some here? Might be easy just to grab some here. I was just thinking of shortcuts. And says, oh, I wonder if it's some left. No, never mind. Anyway, back to the key. <laughs> okay, here we go. Aha, use your imagination. Hey Talk to Mickey. Well, there it is. One giant red time rift, just like you asked. How are we supposed to close it? Merlin said we need to use the power of our imaginations. It sounds like you and I will have to make something creative and toss it inside. But what should we make? Gosh, that's a good question! Tommy rumble. Hey, I forgot to eat breakfast! I could really go for a hot dog right about now. Say, cooking is pretty creative. Why don't we make some hot dogs and toss those in? No, wait. If it's all about imagination, then we need to think bigger. Yeah. Like, it's just really odd to sit here and just uh, shake. Why don't we make a whole hot dog cart? I'll start drawing up some plans. Could you go find the materials we'll need? Of course. Of course I will, don't worry. Sounds good to me, but what should we make out of it? Oh, I'm sure there's some stuff right here on the aisle. You're right. Maybe I'll start with some brass and bronze ing ingots. I think I have plenty of those. I say. This is not going to give me sand, is it? Gonna give me foils, but not sand. Dang it! Right, let's go to the to the oasis. Where's that? On the plane, sorry, not the glittering Jews. The oasis. I've just made that place. Maybe I don't know. Right, let's go and grab some sand. There's a whole place full of sand and you cut right. We're going to have to go back to normal Dreamlight Valley. There probably is where you can get sand. Right, we're off to Dazzle Beach. I will see you there. Right, this is what I wanted. So it's these things I needed get the sand and then once we have the sand we can go get some glass. I mean why am I here? Why don't I just go to Christoph's store? Oh just in case there isn't anything. Let's go and check Christoph's store because they he may even have some sand. It'll either be glass or sand, one or the other. And then that's cut a little bit of time from there. Having said yes he does. Thank goodness Christoph. Thanks, Christoph. I'm also going to grab some fabric because that's always handy to have. Everything else, we're all good. Oh, yay. Moonstones, yay. Okay. Uh, right. Oh, you need eight. Of course you need eight. Oh. Need to go there. Oh! Oh, I do have enough. Oh, fantastic. Right. Let's craft some floating lanterns then. I didn't think I had enough. But I do. Uh, functional items. Yes. Yes. Yay! I don't think I'll get this done. Yay! Cool. Right, it's just Gaston is being a pain. Okay, let's go and get you some more glass and then we'll come back and craft some bits. Ah, to the house. Oh, wait, no, crafting station's here. Ah, 
I forgot I built one here. Hey, oh look, more sand. Oh, I really need to put more crafting stations around so I don't have to keep going back to the house. Just for good measure, just in case someone else needs some glass, it's always handy to have there. Right, functional items, furniture. Oh, do I just need to do this? Bring the materials for the ship in the bottle to Gaston. Okay. Oh, sorry, somebody very silly put a tree here. That'll be me. Gaston, come on. Come on, Gaston. <laughs> You're thrilled to meet me, I know. Use imagination. Give. Lizzie, this is just a bunch of wooden glass. I'm not very impressed by your making a ship in a bottle skills. These are just the materials you have to make yourself, Gaston. Come on, let's get to it. Mm. If I must. There. <sighs> What do you think? It's beautiful. Well, at least we try. Did you just break open the bottle and tape it back together after? Let's just do that one. Of course it is. It's the first thing I've ever imagined. And it came out perfectly, like me. Let's go. Now we've just got to toss it into the rift. Come on. I think you did you just break it and shove it in. Right, let's go. Back to Eternity Isle, if I can get out of the trees that I put there to try and make it look pretty. I try to make it look like a, um, a, a boardwalk. Where you have kind of like Mulan's Bridge, but all of that across and you just walk down. It was meant to look like that, with the trees acting as a, a canopy, but I don't think it's kind of worked out that way. Ayo. Yeah, this is my little restaurant, outdoor restaurant thing. So there's a hamburger place, there's a dessert place and an ice cream stand and then a bar at the end with a table. I would like to add another table, but it's OK. That doesn't happen. Right, where am I going? Oh, I've gotten stuck. That's what's happened. Here we are, Gaston. It's so beautiful. Almost a shame to toss it in there. But I suppose I can always make another. Ha! Did you see that, Lizzie? The rift shrank away to nothing. Yeah. All thanks Huzzah! to my glorious imagination. Yeah. Cheers, Gaston. Right. On to Eve. Yeah, let's go see Eve. Because I have Rapunzel's bits and I have Mickey's bits, but let's go and talk to Eve and make sure she's okay. Follow Eve to the time rift. Okay. Ooh. Talk to Eve. Oh, so this is what you wanted to show me. Yep, that sure is a time rift. I need your help closing it. I think you can use your imagination. Ah, ah. I'm not feeling too imaginative, huh? Well, what if we ask for some help? Wally seems to have quite the imagination. Wally! Okay. Talk to Wally. Where's Wally? I can't see where he is from here. No! No, no, no. There he is. We should have to go over there. Oh. There he is in his little hat. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Nope. Ah, come back. Ah. Oh, these cactus plants. I might have to change the outlay <laughs> for that. I got stuck.
Oh, there he is. He's right here. Oh, say, Wally, Eve and I need some help. We need to make something with our imagination, but Eve's not really very imaginative. Mm. Oh! Ah, oh, projector, cool. Uh, we will get rid of that drop. What's this? No film projector. I'll go back to Eve and see what she makes and see if she wants to make a movie about. Cool. Give. See this, Eve? Ooh. Wally had a great idea. We can make a movie. I can take some pictures of you and Wally around the aisle to make a film reel to project with this. Then we can watch it together. Ooh. Happy beeps. <laughs> Who says robots can't use their imaginations? Wally? Okay, so how do we do this? Um, take the following pictures of Eve and Wally together for the first film reel. Inside the ancient ruins, inside Wally's house, inside Eve's house. Okay. Nice. Okay, cool. Right. I'm going to pause it there because I think I've got to pause it anyway. I'm really, really enjoying it so far. Um, so this might be finished for this second part of the recording. Sorry. Might be straight after lunch or it might be tomorrow or something. So I will see you in a second. See you in a bit. <laughs> 